welcome back to my channel. Thank you for following me along the way on my adventures. I have had a fantastic trip already. I have met some really nice people. I've purchased a few items for my collection. Thank you, Nolan. Thank you to anybody else that gave me leads on finding things while I've been on the road. The main focus of this video is this really neat looking Bennett Model 76 gas pump that I found on a farm from a lead. And I am going to actually purchase it, disconnect it, and load it onto the trailer as well as look at classic cars and trucks that were in the pasture on the same property. Right now I'm at a farm somewhere in Kansas and I found this old gas pump still hooked up and was able to make a deal with the owners and buy it. I'm excited to right now to remove it from this concrete pillar here and get it onto the trailer. Look, it's still, this thing's going to run. It's not even locked up. Besides this old gas pump, I kind of like this. This is an old Dodge Power Wagon sitting here. This is cool. See, this is part of the adventure, going to these farms and you find cool stuff like this. And you wouldn't see this power wagon from the street because there's a barn that blocks it. So by buying the pump, it gave me an opportunity to come in here and see this awesome vehicle. And I see another one. Probably could make a deal and buy both of these. For any of you out there that have watched and followed my videos from a year or two back, you'll notice that I am a person that likes to keep my pumps complete and original, and I even like to try to make them run. I just got this notion, this crazy notion just now, to uh, disconnect the wires, and I brought with me, I always keep this in my toolbox, a cutoff extension cord. And what I did was I wired the leads right to the leads heading into the pump, and I'm gonna plug this in right now. I'm gonna put this camera on a tripod, I'm gonna plug it in, and let's see if we can fire this thing off. Got 
that snow glory. Let me tell you, this was so sketchy. I didn't have any help. I had to get it off the concrete pillar onto the trailer and I was using a tire and wood planks that I found in this guy's barn. These pumps weigh about three or 400 pounds and to be able to move it off that pillar onto the wood was just brutal. So here I am trying to wiggle, tip, and walk, and rock back and forth until I got this pump heading down the planks. The entire experience was just nerve-wracking. Okay, now that it's out from its resting place, all of you can see how beautiful these pumps look. Look how deco the top is. This knob right here is for a pricer. A pricer went over that. It has a factory built-in globe holder. She said it had a globe, but somebody came in on this farm and stole the globe off of it, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have been able to purchase that also. There's a little break in the top there, but that I can, I can easily repair. Not a problem. But it's very ornate as far as the top and these window bezels are ornate. There's normally a, a deco trim piece that goes over this, stainless steel. They sell those reproduction. This is one of the nicest original examples of a Bennett 76 pump. This is in my friend Jeff's collection. Jeff, I appreciate you letting me use this video clip so others can see how these pumps look when they're together. Pump's fairly straight. Of course, I have the panel off on this side. You saw that. It runs. That's a bonus. <laughs> Looks different now. <laughs> yeah. This is rusty gold. Not only 
was getting that gas pump a bonus today, but this is a super bonus. This is on the same property. And I did not expect to find these vehicles. They are about a quarter of a mile from the house where the pump was. And I am just thrilled to come back here and check this out. I don't have a lot of time, but we'll do a quick walk through here. Oh, this is good. Oh yeah. Look at this Pontiac wagon. All these cars are from the same family. Look at this DeSoto. Look at the chrome. I did not expect to see any of this today. Good old Kansas. This is where you find the good stuff. So peaceful out here. Chevy. Look at this Studebaker champion. Bullet nose, Studebaker champion, I like these. I have a Studebaker at home, but it's not the bullet nose, unfortunately. There's another Studebaker here. this Studebaker truck.
They had such long hoods. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's wrecked, but still, it's just so amazing to see it. I did not. Definitely. I realize the value. I I look up stuff a lot. I research things. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for watching another one of my videos. If it runs on Petro, dispenses Petro, or advertises Petro, this is the channel to be following. Take care, and I have much more content coming your way soon.